Doc Beach here at Applied Ballistics, and today I'm going to go over how to pair your uh, Kestrel Elite Link to a Sig Sauer BDX device. This is a fairly simple process, but there are some important things that you have to note to be able to do this. The first is your Sig Sauer BDX device must feature ABE, that's AB External Mode. That's the 2400 BDX and the 3000 BDX as it stands. Uh, there'll be more in the future which actually have this feature. But uh, just note that you must have ABE mode on your BDX device in order to do this. The other thing is, is your Kestrel has to have link. The reason for that, of course, is you need the Bluetooth feature in order for these two devices to talk together. So with that in mind, um, make sure that you have the, the Kestrel with link and the BDX with ABE. Also, make sure that your firmware is up to date on both devices. The BDX app will update the firmware on your Sig Sauer BDX, and the uh, Kestrel Link Ballistics app will update the firmware on your Kestrel here, and you need to be on firmware 1.23 or newer in order to utilize this feature. So with that in mind, let's get started on how we connect the two devices together. It's a fairly seamless, easy process. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn on our BDX here, and we're going to make sure that we are in uh, ABE mode. So if you look here, you can see that it says that we are in ABE mode. It's kind of hard to read through uh, the camera, but if it didn't say ABE, if it said ABU or LOS or uh, AMR, the simple way to get it into that mode is to hold the mode button down and the very first option is going to be what you're looking for and then you just tap the range button to cycle through the options. Once it says ABE, you go ahead and leave it alone and it'll lock you in there. The next thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go ahead and change some Bluetooth menu settings on the Kestrel. Now this is fairly simple but we'll walk through it. Um, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to hit the settings button. We're going to scroll down to Bluetooth. Make sure Bluetooth is turned on. You can do that by tapping the left or right arrow key on the keypad. And then we're going to hit enter. Now there's two modes here. Uh, you can normally it's going to say PC mobile. So with connect highlighted, if you tap the arrow key here, you can see that we're now in device mode. And that's the mode that we need to be in to utilize um, this connection. If you're going to connect the Kestrel to another device, a laser rangefinder of any kind, it needs to be in device mode, not PC mobile mode, which would be for connecting to a computer or to a phone. So with us in device mode, we're going to scroll down to where it says name, and we're going to hit enter. It's going to say searching for devices. Now as long as the BDX device is turned on, it's going to pop up in this menu. As long as it's turned on and not connected to something else. You can only connect it to one thing at a time. Uh, you're also going to see that the serial number shows up. So if you were at a crowded event, uh, a shooting match or something with multiple devices around, what you can do is you can turn the device over and you can look for your serial number if there's multiple items in the list to make sure you connect to the correct device. So now that it's found the device, we simply hit enter and then we're going to hit the exit button here unless you wanted to rename it or you know, if you wanted to remove it from the list, but in this case, we're just adding it. So we'll hit exit and you can see here, uh, that's it. We're already paired. You can see the device and you can see status is connected. So now anytime you want to use it, you simply turn both devices on. You would, um, range a target with laser range finder and it'll update the range here for you on, um, your Kestrel Elite. The other thing it will also update is the inclination. Uh, a really cool feature is, so the BDX devices run on ABU natively, which is um, limited to 800 yards. But when you connect these devices to uh, an external device, such as the Kestrel Elite here, that gives you unlimited range potential. As long as you can hit it with the laser range finder, you'll get a firing solution. So that allows you to use it at a mile or a mile and a half or whatever you would like without the ABU limitation. Uh, now we'll just do a check here real quick. I'm gonna hit the settings button. I'm gonna go to Bluetooth and you can see here, um, the device is not turned on. So I'll turn the device on real quick and it should connect right up. There you go. 
So we can see now that these two devices are connected and talking to each other and connecting them up is really that simple.